Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing something a little bit fun. We're gonna be ranking Scorpio compatibility with all of the other signs. And yes, before you're just like Denise, you always do Scorpio. This is my tester to see if you guys like this kind of video. So first, I, I feel like I need a disclaimer. And this is a disclaimer, if you are sensitive, if you're gonna get hurt, because I think that your sign and your significant other signs don't gel very greatly together. First of all, know that I'm not looking at your individual chart, first of all. And also keep in mind that astrology, compatibility, synastry, all of that is a complex, complicated and nuanced art. So I would have to actually see the chart to know what's going on. I'd have to pop the hood, okay? Should you focus on the sun sign? Should you focus on the moon sign? In my opinion, I think that you should look at the moon sign. And if you get lucky, your person's gonna have more than one planet in the sign. If they have a stellium, if they have a concentration of planets, then you could use that. Or you can go by sun sign and watch all the compatibility videos for their other planets. So in the first tier in our hell yeah green category, we have, first of all, Pisces. If you haven't watched my Pisces compatibility video, you should watch it and you should know that I absolutely love Pisces and Scorpio together. I think their energies mesh very well because Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pisces is associated with Neptune, which is a higher octave of Venus. So Venus and Mars go very well together. So Mars and Neptune go very well together as well. So their energies, they're able to form a very close bond, a very intimate bond. And Scorpio is able to build a lot of trust in the Pisces because Pisces is so accepting and loving. So I really think that they're a really great combination. And I really call them like, the soulmates. This is the kind of romantic storybook sort of love that you can achieve in this lifetime. It can be achieved between a Scorpio and a Pisces or a Neptunian and a Plutonian. So highly recommend this pair. Next in that hell yeah category, I have Cancer, who I think is like the second best compatible sign for Scorpio. Cancer is also another water sign. All the water signs obviously are gonna get along very well together as a friends or in relationships. But I really love Cancer and Scorpio together for that same reason. And especially, this is where sort of Scorpio and Cancer are a little bit better than Pisces and, and Scorpio. It's because Cancer, more than anything, just wants a very, very intimate bond. And even though Pisces just achieves intimacy with pretty much everyone, Pisces is more open. It is, nep with the association of Neptune and being mutable, this means that their heart is very open. And Cancer and Scorpio are more like salty, crabby, and they, they don't like to share. And not that Pisces likes to share, I don't like to like create like stereotypes, but Pisces, is more open to their love. They, they love everyone. And because of this, Cancer and Scorpio kind of have this more in common in sense of them wanting to be more exclusive and more like we only love each other, it's us versus the world. Pisces is not us versus the world. Pisces is just like, I love everyone, can we just all love each other and get along? That's Pisces. And Cancer is like, absolutely not. I'm never gonna forget that girl Marissa in third grade who pulled my hair. So. Cancer just does not let things go and neither does Scorpio because they're fixed. So Scorpio and Cancer are also a very good match. Next, we have the second tier that I'm into it. It's a good pairing. So in this category, I'm gonna put Scorpio with Scorpio. I think that Scorpio and Scorpio can work very well together, especially if you have a Scorpio that leads, especially if one is okay with sort of letting the other lead but knowing that you still have some control because Scorpios really like to be in control and this is not overt. Like they, they won't say like, oh, I'm in control. I rule you or I rule the situation or the relationship. But there is like some subtle, unsaid, like hidden sort of stuff that goes on beneath the surface. And as long as you are okay with like leading beneath the surface, then this is a really a great pairing. As I said, you know, all the water signs are really gonna be able to understand each other very easily. So this is another really good sign. Obviously for all of these guys, I have also made individual compatibility videos. So if you haven't seen my Scorpio Scorpio or my Scorpio Cancer or Scorpio Pisces, I will link them so that you could watch like the extended version of this. But yeah, this goes in my Intuit category. Very good match. And next we have 
in this Intuit category, I will put Libra. I think that Libra and Scorpio are also a really good match because Libra is ruled by Venus. And remember how we said that Venus and Mars, they go very well together. So Scorpio being ruled by Mars has that passion, aggression sort of energy. But remember that Scorpio is water. So this is no, not going to be like overtly aggressive or overtly passionate. Scorpio is like slow burn sort of passion. So you kind of have to be more intuitive to know what's going on beneath the surf, the surface of a Scorpio. Whereas um, Mars in Aries is going to be more like aggressive and in your face and like, I love you and you're going to know when they like you. Scorpio, you have to get to know them first to learn their subtle cues. But nonetheless, they're very passionate. And so Libra being the Venus, being like the fair maiden here, is really going to like that. Libra is just in love with love and Scorpio is in love with intimacy. So those things go very well together. And I think that they are a really good match too, even though there are some issues, but I'm going to talk about those issues in my video, my Scorpio Libra compatibility video that is coming out probably next. It's going to be my next compatibility video. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested, but nonetheless, this is a really good pairing. Libra is pretty much Libra can be compatible with anyone because Libra is so open and I call them like they are the Pisces of the air signs. So they're very adjustable. Like even though they are cardinal, they're not mutable, but the nature of Libra is to be very reflective. So they can pretty much get along with everyone who is you know, wants to get along with them. In the next category, the make it work category, this is really where I think you need to look at other chart factors to see how well it will work. But just looking at it on the surface here, I'm going to place Taurus. I've already made a Taurus Scorpio video. I think that the reason why they work so well together is because they are both on that fixed axis of security. And one of them is seeking material, like earthly, like physical safety, which is Taurus. And the other one is looking for emotional security, but you know, they're both looking for safety and stability. They're both looking for a partner to bond with for life. So obviously this is going to work very well together because they're both looking for loyalty and finding somebody who's loyal to you is difficult but it is definitely worthwhile and if you have scorpio or taurus in your chart this is something that is going to really matter to you taurus likes to know that the person that they're with is like it's not up for debate whether they're going to stay with them they need to know that like they have that person like they don't need to be worried at all whether that person's going to leave or whether that person's thinking about leaving like leaving <laughs> taurus does not want to worry about that at all and neither does scorpio scorpio needs to know that too so they work very well on this level where it might not work. Watch that video, but where it might not work is that Taurus doesn't really like to show emotions because they're more like inward and they like to keep, you know, they like to keep the peace because they're ruled by Venus and Scorpio, Scorpio likes fireworks, even though they themselves, they, they don't like to be very vulnerable. I mean, they like it, but they're not super, they're not going to be super outwardly emotional unless you bring them to that point, but they like for others to show passion. They, they, Scorpio loves passion. So they're going to need to see some passion coming from their Taurus in order to be satisfied. And in this make it work category, I will also put Virgo. I think that they can work very well with Virgo, especially because Scorpio is sort of obsessed with the idea of you know, finding somebody who's just so good. And so, because remember that Scorpio is obsessed with the fact that the world is full of evil and bad people and evil doers. Scorpio thinks everyone's full of shit and there's just a bunch of bad people everywhere. And they're always like, you know, they're always distrustful. And so Virgo, on the other hand, is very, Virgo is very transparent and they have a very good way of being. They're just like good people, Virgos. And they're very honest and they they work very hard for their partners. They do a lot for their partners. They're very service oriented Virgos and they like to be useful because, you know, this is, they're an earth sign and earth signs like to be useful as it is, but Mercury and earth is always looking for solutions and it's always looking to be somebody. They want to be a tool, right? 
a tool, not in like, oh, you're a tool, not like that, but they want to be a useful tool, an object that can be used for something good and beneficial. And Scorpio is just like, okay, you want to be something beneficial and useful? Okay, I can use you for something. That is like, you know, catch my drift. So I think that they could be very good together, especially, you know, Virgo, like they look like they're like the perfect little angel and Scorpio loves themselves a perfect little angel. So it works very well on that front. The only caveat I will say about Virgo is that, again, Scorpio likes passion and emotion. And Virgo can be very intellectual and they can intellectualize things and be very, like, you know, in their mind. And Scorpio wants to know what's going on in the heart. So if this Virgo person doesn't have a lot of water, same goes for the Taurus. If they don't have water or they don't have fire, something that's going to show their feelings, then the Scorpio is just gonna be like, well, you're perfect and you're beautiful, but like, you know, where's the feelings? I want the feelings. I don't want you to be like perfect and robotic. You know, not that Virgos are perfect and robotic. Everyone's a person, but they need to get more comfortable with showing the feelings because Scorpio loves it when people show the feelings. And next, Aries. Aries and Scorpio, work very well together too you know you would think like they should be higher up and they could be higher up on the rank except for the fact that aries does not like to be told what to do if you haven't watched that compatibility video i'm also going to link it you know i'm going to link them because i talk about this at length but aries will not be told what to do and even though scorpio is not going to tell you what to do scorpio has control issues because again you know they're afraid of losing their partner or of you, you know, straying. So Scorpio likes to keep, you know, their invisible tentacles of power on their partner, right? And Aries is not gonna be told what to do and it's not gonna be stopped. And they like to, to have a great deal of independence. And remember that Scorpio is that sign of ultimate melting. You know, they want very close intimacy with somebody else. And how are you gonna have very close intimacy with, some, intimacy with somebody who really wants to be independent? Because that is just the nature of Aries. Aries by nature, is very cutting. They don't like to just go along. They won't go with the flow. Aries is very much like, this is what I think and I don't care, you know? But where they connect very strongly is the passion. If the Aries person is into the Scorpio person, Aries is so, so super passionate and they will pursue the Scorpio. And the Scorpio might be a little bit scared, but they're gonna be into it because they love a passionate person. So if you want more details on that, as I said, you know, watch my full compatibility video. And next in this category, make it work, I will put Gemini here. I just made this compatibility video, so also watch this one. Um, Gemini, I think that the connection here with Scorpio is that both, they're very kinky signs, <laughs> both of them. So they can have that connection with each other, wanting to explore, you know, sensuality together. And that could be very fun for each of them. And at the same time, my Scorpio is my underwater investigator, private eye. And Gemini is always investigating everything. And they just don't take it as seriously as Scorpio would, but they connect on that level of wanting, not wanting, but just really being in tune with what's going on in their environment. And if they're in each other's environments, they're gonna try to figure each other out. And this could be very fun. I still have this video coming up called the Gemini Labyrinth, talking about what it's like to be with a Gemini and what it's like to step into a world with a Gemini person. Because as I said, this can be very enticing and very transfixing for anybody. And the caveat there is that it could get, it could turn into like a battle between, you know, who's smarter. One of them is very intuitively, like emotionally smart and um, emotional intelligence or whatever. And the other one is just like very smart. But if you get yourself a Gemini that has water, this person is gonna be very smart and I call them the Jafars of the world. So the next person on this category, I mean on this tier, the make it work tier, I'm gonna put Capricorn there because Capricorn being ruled by Saturn, they're looking for something that is long lasting. They're looking for something serious and stable. And Scorpio, especially the moon, the Venus, they're also looking for something stable. The suns are a little bit more looking for passion and, and intense um, life experiences, but they could also be, you know, they, they're all the Scorpios are looking for intimacy. And the only caveat here would be Capricorn could be 
sort of afraid of being vulnerable too because Capricorn doesn't want to be thought of as weak. And oftentimes in society, you know, the way that society is set up, you know, the patriarchy and everything, they tell us that showing our feelings and our emotions is something negative and that it's weak, that showing feelings like that's for children. And, you know, back in the day, it was like, hmm, that's for women, you know? And, but if you're a Capricorn woman, then even the women are just like, no, I don't know about showing feelings. I don't want nobody to think I'm a weak ass bitch, you know? So um, Capricorn can have trouble with expressing their feelings and their more vulnerable side. And remember that Scorpio, anything, they want to get into your very, very vulnerable insides. And so that would be the trouble there. But if Capricorn has water in their chart or if they value being vulnerable for whatever other reason, or if they just want to give this to their partner, then this could be a very strong union because they're both really focused on that longevity. And so in the next category, the I've had worse category, I'm going to put Sagittarius. I think, hey, where the hell is, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I almost feel, no, I'm going to have to edit this in. So guys, in the, in the Intuit tier, Okay, and the last person on this Intuit tier is going to be Leo. I think that Leo is a strong match for a Scorpio because Leo is a very loyal, they're, you know, they're both fixed signs. So they're looking for loyalty in their relationships and their partnerships and their friendships and their family. They want to build like the Scorpios are looking for their pack like the one, uh, the few group of people or one person in the world that they could find that is their person, kind of like Grey's Anatomy, you're my person. They're looking for their person. And Leo is looking for their pride, their family, their people that they could be there to defend and the people who will be there to defend them when needed. So this is really how they're going to connect. And at the same time, Leo is a very passionate sign. It's a fire sign. So they're going to be very passionate. And as I said, you know, Scorpios are always looking for passion and they're really going to relate on that level. So uh, Leo has like grand gestures. They're very, you know, expressive in terms of when they're in love. So Scorpio is going to appreciate that. They, they like being loved on. Scorpio loves being loved on. Who doesn't, right? But Scorpio really loves it. So I think that's going to work very well. And now on this next like brighter orange tier, I've had the I've had worse and I'm just like sweating about it. So this is the sign that I think like it's, it's not great, but there is still like a little hair that is holding them together just on the pure signs themselves. And in this category, I'm going to put Sagittarius. I'm going to put Sagittarius here. So let me tell you what can hold them together. The fact that Sagittarius often has Scorpio in their chart, because, you know, you often have not just your sign, like your sun sign, but sometimes your Venus or your Mercury will be in the sign over. So if you're a Sagittarius, you have Scorpio, then I could see that being a stronger union. Then you could move it up to like make it work. But if you're just a Sagittarius and you have no Scorpio in the chart, you have no water in your chart, then it's going to be real tricky. But the connection nonetheless there is that fire signs are going to be very passionate and that's going to be the connection because as we said, Scorpio being ruled by Mars really loves passion above all else. Well, not above all else. They really love intimacy too. So they have a passion for intimacy. So I still see Sag and Sagittarius is a real ass sign and Scorpio is a real ass sign too. Scorpio does not like fakeness. They don't like superficiality and Sagittarius they're not superficial. They're su they're very real and raw and Scorpio likes that. So that's another connection. So there's going to be a physical connection, passion level, and the realness is going to be another connection. And the last one on this tier, the last one at the very bottom, just no words to describe. This is this is Aquarius. And so you would be like, Denise, like, isn't the thing that they have in common the fact that they are both freaking... Um, fixed signs. Well, they are fixed signs. So they're both going to be incredibly stubborn, especially Aquarius. Aquarius is very stubborn about their ideas and their beliefs because this is fixed air. So this is intellect, their intellect, right? Even though they are open-minded because it's still air, but Aquarius struggles in the vulnerability and emotional department, unless they have, you know, water sign, or if they have 
very strong fire too can make them more expressive but if they are like a very cool airy aquarius or a cool airy earthy aquarius then it's going to be difficult for them to give the scorpio the passion and the fireworks that they like to see because scorpio if Scorpio does a lot of testing things and I've made videos about Scorpios in the past and they do things where they'll try to emotionally test you to see how strongly you feel for them and Aquarius is just gonna be like I don't know what why are you doing this like this doesn't make any sense like I thought we liked each other like why are you trying to test me why do you make why do you want to make me feel bad Aquarius is not like that Aquarius reminds me of like cool Jesus you know the one that's like or like he's like this or something, whatever, the cool Jesus. Aquarius is a very altruistic and very just kind and good sort of feeling sign. And they don't like, you know, people trifling with their emotions, you know, and they have emotions because everyone has emotions. So this is where I, I don't really know what would be the connection aside from the fact that Aquarius is still going to have a whole ass chart or if the, the Scorpio person has a bunch of air in their chart or they have Uranus prominent or Uranus with Venus and they really like Aquarian people. So that could be the connection, but that would be the hardest one. So what did you guys think about this ranking video? Would you like me to rank other things? Would you like me to rank the compatibility of the other signs? So let me know in the comments what you thought of this. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. This is in honor of Air Slut February. And if you don't know what that is, you should follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of updates there. So you can know what's going on with me in my life if you wanna stalk me a little bit. Go to my Instagram. And other than that, I love you so very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.